What's going on everybody? I hope you're all having a great day and in today's video I'm gonna be talking to you about should you do a cash out refinance on your house today? Now many people are seeing insane amounts of equity built into their homes from all this appreciation and they're starting to itch They're like, what do I do with all this money? Should I do a cash out? Now some consider equity to be dead equity and others consider equity to be a safety haven for them So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you why I think think you should do a cash out refinance and why many actually do. Now remember, if you get any value from this video and enjoy it, please hit that free like button and let's dive into it. Now I'm gonna be addressing four points, four reasons why you should do a cash out refinance. So make sure you stick around because the fourth one is my personal favorite and I don't want you to miss out on it. Now reason number one is you plan on lowering your interest rate. Imagine this, you can have a loan at $300,000 with a 5% interest rate. Your monthly payment is going to be $1,610.46 per month versus you realize, hmm, I can do a cash out refinance. I can get cash out plus I can lower my interest rate. So now assuming that you take out $50,000 and it makes your loan from $300,000 to $350,000, your new monthly mortgage payment is going to be $1,475.61. You will be saving $134.85 per month plus you will have $50,000 cash with you. Now let me ask you a question. If you're saving $134 per month plus having $50,000 cash with you, where does that sound wrong or bad anywhere? I know you're loving the sound of that and it does literally do that exact thing. That's why so many people consider cash out refinances, but of course, Always pros and always cons, but right now I'm giving you reasons why so many consider doing that cash out refi. Now to top off the savings, many people take out the cash, the $50,000 for example, to go reinvest at other places. Now an important point to mention is you have to keep 20% of equity in your home. Many lenders are not gonna let you cash out your entire home value. They're gonna put a stipulation that you can take 80% out, but you're gonna have to keep 20% in. So assuming your new loan value is $350,000, we're gonna say that your house's value is $437,500 and they let you keep that 20% in equity, which is why your new loan is $350,000. Hopefully all those numbers didn't get you confused. I'm gonna keep them on the charts so you don't get mixed up, but that's reason number one right there. Reason number two, which is super famous, is many people, you, your plan is to pay off higher interest debt. Now what's better than paying off higher debt, getting lower debt, and extending it with 30 years. Really nothing. Listen to this, the average credit card debt in 2019 was 16.16%. .16%. So if I came to you and said, listen, I can get you a 30 year mortgage with a 3% interest rate, you can do a cash out refinance too and pay off that 16.16% .16 interest rate debt that you're getting hit with every single month, it's a no brainer. And this is why so many people do it. They wanna pay off their student loan debt, their credit card debt, and so many other debts that they have with high interest rates. Now the cool thing is, since the money you're taking out is considered debt, you are not taxed on that. Now, please consult a CPA disclosure, I'm not one, consult a licensed CPA or attorney, but I'm just giving my opinion. Whatever amount you cash out, 100 grand, 500 grand, a million, whatever it is, it's considered debt. Therefore, there is no taxes on that, meaning it's almost free money, tax-free money. So what you're doing is basically taking a 16.16% .16 interest rate credit card or student loan debt or whatever it might be, converting it to a 3% interest rate, which is your new mortgage, and on top of that, you're taking cash out, which you can go invest and make money on. That's a huge reason people do it. Now, reason number three is you plan on investing that money. Listen to this. If your mortgage right now is 3% and you do a cash out refinance, so you take money out of your house and you reinvest it into the markets, you're aiming to get eight to 10%. So basically, let's say you make 10% a year on your money that was frozen in the house, considered dead equity, 10%, your new interest rate's 3% on the house, you're literally making a profit of 7% on that money that you took out. Now the S&P 500, if you just invested in 2020 in that, which is literally pressing a button, 
saying buy in the stock market and just sitting in 2020 you would have made about 16 to 18 percent on your money including dividends now some years it crashes some years it does well some years it does average but ultimately it depends on what risk you're trying to take so we're not saying you're always going to be making that eight percent ten percent fifteen percent but what we are saying, if you know what you're doing, there's a good chance you will. Now, the other question is, what if you don't wanna invest in the stocks? Are you gonna be savvy enough to find good deals? Are you gonna be smart enough to find good real estate assets to put that money in? Are you gonna be too busy working in your full-time job that you just took out that money and just stare at it, not doing anything with it and really paying 3% interest on it but it's not making you anything. So you wanna make sure if you're taking the money out to invest it, you either have that investment idea in front of you or you already have that asset ready to purchase and you're doing that real quick. You don't wanna take it out to just stare at it. And reason number four, which is my personal favorite, is you plan to open a business. It's your dream. It's your passion. You've been thinking of it so much and you realize that your home's value went up a lot. You got a good amount of equity and you feel now is the time. Now is your opportunity. It's today or never. And you decide to do a cash out refinance, pull out however much equity you're able to, pay 3% on that if that's your interest rate, which hopefully you're getting a low interest rate. Depends on the market. Sometimes it's 3%, which in this market it is. Some it's four, some it's five, some it's six, and it can be even higher. So we also wanna make sure we're not getting the high interest rates, but ultimately, you're doing this cash out to open that dream business. And guess what? I've seen many people do it and many succeed. And that business can now generate you every year, 50K, 100K, 200K. It's almost like that dead money just created you a beast of a revenue stream that you weren't even touching into and this made your dream come true. So guys, when you plan to take out equity from your home, you need to make sure that you got valid reasons, not just to stare at it, but valid reasons that you believe this is plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, however many letters that you need to make sure you're set. So when you take out that 50K, that 100K, that 200K, you know where you're gonna allocate it so it's not a waste. These reasons I believe are the main reasons people consider a cash out refinance and ultimately why you should consider a cash out refinance. So. If you were thinking about it and this video helped you out, that's great news for me. That's the goal of the video. So make sure that if you guys enjoyed it, got value, you hit that subscribe button. You also hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And most importantly, guys, be smart with the decisions you make because ultimately that's what you're gonna live with for the rest of your life. And my goal is to help you with those decisions. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, keep coming and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Be safe, bye-bye.